up to them if they want to come through. Or Lakesh was scheduled, but I think they kind of pushed. I'm it. here. Hey, Lakesh, old friend. <laughs> nice to have you around. They, um, you, they used up all my time. Yes, but you still can give us a spiritual message or whatever you like. Welcome here. I just wanted to say greetings. Greetings, greetings to everyone. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. That's all. I just. Do you have a second to read your poetry? Yes, your 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 poems are very nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He's a strange one. He likes my poetry. Nobody else does. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're they're really good. I'm serious, on my planet they're like, yeah. <laughs> keep your day job. <laughs> <laughs> I took that from something I saw on your internet. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about your planet? Yes, I'm a blue. I'm, I think I've done this before. I'm about five foot two. I'm, I'm blue, I have one of uh, one uh, big toe and three little toes and one thumb and three little fingers. I'm sort of bulbous looking, sort of like a gingerbread man. I, uh, but I like that look. I really, really, my women are all... But I... <laughs> But any, what was I? Ah, uh, the planet. <laughs> <laughs> about civilization. Oh, yeah. You have several trillions of you made, years, right? You made me think something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I glide. In my society, I'm a glider. They choose, some choose to walk, some choose to run or sit. But I am permitted to glide. That is... A, privilege that I have gained. I'm allowed to speak to Earth and that is a privilege that I've gained through. Our planet is a, a planet of uh, we move up from level to level of uh, learning. That's how we uh, that's how we move as a planet. There's a belt around the middle of our planets, there's four of them, that actually keeps the planet moving and all the different things in place in our cultures. And once we finished a level of that, say we wanted to be a nanobiologist or a quark specialist, we then have to spend 100 days helping the planet live. And this gives us time to reevaluate what our next job will be and give us appreciation for the fact that we don't have to work every day. We just have to work that 100 days after we achieve a level. It's, and then we can think about what we want to do for the next level. So it's really quite a wonderful thing. And then when you achieve a level, we have celebrations. There's always celebrations on our planet, always. It's a wonderful thing. We have, when a child is born, there's a celebration. When someone achieves a level, there's a celebration. When they have a quick day, that would be their birthday. Then we have a celebration. When their org level is at seven, then we have a celebration. Um, an org level is your vibrational level. Uh, whenever they attain certain things, certain levels, we have celebrations. And it's a wonderful place to be. And that's why we're so interested in Earth is uh, you have some wonderful things that happen here. Very wonderful. We like your celebrations. We like your intensity of emotion. We like that your thought processes are muddled. I love that. Because they're not 
something that you can just say, I know they're going to do this today because I don't know that. There are a few of you that are creatures of habit, but still, you go outside of that now and then. And, <laughs> right? I mean, I was watching this one human and every day for 26 days they did exactly the same thing. On the 27th day, they did something totally different. <laughs> I was totally going, why? <laughs> why? Why did you do something totally different when you did something the very same way for all that time? I don't know. See, that's why you're interesting. I like that. So then I'll find out later why. But I found out why, you know. <sighs> okay, I'm realizing now. Okay. Do you experience emotion? Yes, but not in the intensity that you do. Your, your emotional intensity is probably at least three times greater. And that's why oh, I try to experience everything through the body when I'm in the body. There are things they won't let me experience, but I'll get there someday. <laughs> I will. I'm determined. But, yes. How, how do you reproduce? We reproduce like very similarly to the way you reproduce, except without the noise. What <laughs> noise? <laughs> That's right. Well, there is noise, but it's not like what you make. I, I thought, I thought some of you were dying. <laughs> I was ready to resuscitate. But no, I'm not allowed to do that. Um, I, I have a question. It, it's, it's really not a question, uh, but more of a statement. If I were to describe an alien, yes, this is a different one. Oh, a different one. Yes. Then what? From before. Oh, I wasn't here for that one. That's right. <laughs> um, would you be able to maybe tell me what species it is? If you describe it well enough. Um, uh, I would say maybe this tall, like this big, arms, legs, short. Am I, make, am I describing it right, Sharon? Just about there. Yeah, okay. That was There's, this tonight, Angie, you no. saw this? No, this one, that is a, was it a gray color? Uh, uh. There is a species of grays that would fit into that description. They're very short, and sort of bulbous. Yeah. Yes, and um, they're not often seen on your world. Not often. Um, <laughs> but they uh, they do exist, and um, if you saw one of those, that's a rare. That's rare. That's very rare. Is it in summertime? Yeah. Where were? Can I ask where this species was when you saw them? Um, they actually came to our group in in Arabia. Empire Haven. No, no. no. It, it, Sharon's apartment. Yeah. You all oh, saw right. them? Oh, that's yes. right. Yeah. You all saw them? No, no, no. Just in your head? Yes. Oh. Ah. Yeah. But they, they came projected them themselves. I saw with my eyes, in my mind, I could see So them. they projected themselves into your brain. They came brains. with the tall one also. Right, yeah. right. The they tall, came with the tall one. If they came with the tall one, that was a disguised Pleiadian, because they travel with Pleiadians. Definitely. So it's yes. that... They do travel with Pleiadians. I know that for a fact. Are they good or bad? Uh, they came to just neutral. Teach they us. don't. They don't really. Uh, they they would probably be what you would consider good because even though they don't do anything to really help humanity, they'll help certain people do things here. Okay. <coughs> All right. I was just. And if they came to your group, they must have thought it was interesting what you were discussing or what you were feeling or what you were entitling the, at that moment. So, right. Okay. Yes, okay. And they do travel with Pleiadians. Was there, they were there at the same time, correct? Yes. Yes, they do travel together. What about the, the 
ones that look like huge grasshoppers. Oh, the um, antoids, perhaps. Antoids. Yes. They look like big ants or praying mantises, sort of. Yeah. yeah. They could be one of two different races, but you, the other race doesn't come around Earth, so I would think that they're those. Yes. Now, can they translate into our language the same way you do? What? Do those praying mantis types, would they be communicating with us like the way you are right now? Um, no. Um, they have technology, just like we do, that interprets your language, but they don't speak to Earthlings. They only listen. They don't ever speak. Are they ever. the founders? No. Okay. Do we look strange to you? You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I like that about you too. So, it's like, oh, I can see other species in your faces, some, some of you. You, do you know what I mean? I can see that that some of you are possibly hybrids, or at least there is a, a chance that you are. Yes, I can even point you out if you want. But yeah, um, yeah, 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 you do it. Good. Kim is a hybrid. She knows Kim, that. Kim, raise your hand if you. Oh, okay. And Aryan, that's a whole story right there. Aryan is actually a human alien. So we'll pass that. Mary has a little bit in. You have quite a bit of Pleiadian in you. Oh, I, my magic wand is not working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always in trouble, no problem. Yes, you are definitely hybrid, and you are as well. Hybrid with what? You know. <laughs> um, this gentleman right here. Mm -hmm. That's what my mother said. See, I know. No, the cash knows. But anyway, um, and uh, there might be some hybrid that I didn't even pick up. But but you're talking about ancient historical. I, I passed you by because I don't even want to talk. About it. But anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to comment that you know we're not talking that you're not the child of your parents. You right. have historically through generations. Right. Historically you up. through time, uh, there was some something. And Bill, of course, you are, you know. So, does that, that have anything to do with? I'm a twin. Is is that have anything ooh, to do with? Ooh, totally. Well, you're not really telepathically connected, so some twins are very telepathically connected. Yes. Um, in your case, a little here and there. Um, but you have more of the alien blood than, mm -hmm. than your other half, I yes. So, there. yes, okay, I understand that now, okay. Talk to me later. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, <laughs> yeah. Um, a great question to ask if anybody is brave enough, if you are having children up there, hybrid children up there. Um, there are only, in the past, there were quite a few. Right now, there's not as many hybrid children. And there's a reason for that that I cannot go into. But um, it's a safety precaution. There was a hybrid problem about 20 years ago. And uh, something happened that was un. Pleasant. So, uh, we'll, and what, so they What species has the most highest knowledge about the future and about God? Well, that's a hard question because I don't know all the species that well. But I can tell you that as a society, we embrace God every day, every moment. We try as much as possible, of course that's impossible, but, um, but we like to consider ourselves a very spiritual society. We know that the Pleiadians, the Lyrans, Yil, are all very spiritual. El, 
the serious people. Uh, I could go on. But as far as the most, boy, that would really be very difficult to say. Who has the clearest vision of our future? Well, considering the fact that they're not allowed to move in the future more than a few days, I'd say not very many. Because it's very dangerous to move quickly into the future, and it's very dangerous to move quickly into the past. Mm -hmm. You were only limited to a few days at the most, because uh, it's a whole uh, discussion about how time works and how reality intermingles with linear time, circular time, chaotic time, and folded space, which is actually a form of time change as well. I called it folded time, but it's actually folded space. And it's, uh, it changes. If, if you bring this part of space over to here, then you change time. So it is folded time. So How, do, how does that work in the time travel? Um, we use uh, the folded, the folded, it's much easier, it does not damage space, it does not damage anything in the galaxy. So to fold it and have it go back is fine. Chaotic time you'll find in black holes or something of that black matter, black holes. And it's very, you would be disassembled immediately in contact with it. So um, you don't want to get anywhere near that. And uh, circular time is, it's a loop. But uh, some species have learned how to use that loop and move in time that way. Okay, but other people, other species that got caught in it continue to go and have the same day over and over and over again like uh, some... It, it, it's not a good thing, but because you don't realize it. It's, it's just like you're deja vu, deja vu, deja vu. So, um, Is that recall. Einstein's theory of relativity? That it encompasses that, yes. His theory of relativity was far beyond his time. However, he got a few things wrong, but yes. hey, for a man at that, at that era to be projecting out there, you know, he had to have a little hybrid in him, so... Yes, yes. Yes, definitely. Is there a way that you can project yourself or an image telepathically to us? If it's so permitted, yes. I, If you could actually see inside Jim, uh, there is actually a, uh, a, a an image of me there, because... When I come, I'm not like these do or any of the other ones that come in. I actually project myself into him. I'm the only one that does that. That we are a little more advanced for that. Because I'm from on a planet, I can project myself all the way here. They can't do it from their planet. So I'm the I'm sort of special that way. But do you use their help, their technology to translate your signal to here? Are you using their sheep no. as antenna? No. 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 We don't use them. Why They're not they... connected. If I were to use them, that would be considered part of an alliance with them, and I'm not in alliance with them at all. But they are in uh, power to prohibit you entering when they wish to, right? Yes. They do have some, they have some jurisdiction over Earth since they are helping it, and I'm really not. So law would state that they have the upper hand that way because they are actually helping you, whereas we're just communicating. We're really not helping you. Thank okay. You. Anyway, so for you all if, your help. If to I behave. come there, and uh, if they let me come here and I do this, they can stop my communication at the blink of an eye if they choose to because this is their jurisdiction if there's a storm coming, if they need to do something uh, with the nature or earth or whatever it is, if the seismic things or the tilt of the axis, they can say out and I have to go because they have uh, the safety parameters. What's the name of that law? Is it some universal law? No, it's a Dizdu law, but it's, it's work near.
Thank you. Uh, and he's the one that put it in place. Okay. Are you familiar with uh, the nine, the channelings by the nine? The nine? No. Ancient gods and that Oh, sort of I think they're probably called something else. Okay. I probably know them by something else. I, every time somebody asks me something like that, it's, I usually go back and it's, it's they call it something else okay. on Earth than we call it. So, like, the very first channeling session that I did, um, the uh, Law of Attraction, we had called, we had never heard of that. We call it something else. Well, how so, do you call it? Uh, we, we heard of it, but I didn't Synchronicity know it something? Um, it was um, uh, Attraction, oh, what, what did we call it? Uh, it just, I just blanked out. Uh, are you familiar with the Ra material? Ra material? Ra. After the Ra god? god the god Ra? Oh, yes, okay. Uh, are you... Is it part... Not of the sun, yes. Is it also your god? There is connections, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So, um... Uh, Any more questions? I was wondering if you're familiar with like Abraham Hicks as a channel. Like, I, I, uh, I see all different kinds of channelers everywhere. I, I don't learn all their names, but I do like to to watch whenever they're channeling someone because I get an idea of um, what kind of energy each alien has when they're doing that, and what kind of energy has to be in the human to do that as well. And it's a very interesting study because some aliens cannot go into some people, whereas, and I think Max picks up on this, spirit, the spirit world is a totally different frequency than the alien world. So aliens do not, aliens and spirits in the same channel usually, it's very hard. My question is, I was wondering, is, is the Abraham group or a group of entities, whatever they are, uh -huh. would they be more of a spiritual beings or would they be from a planet? And if, if I think they're planet, 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 yeah. What they're... planet would you know? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? What's the name of their Um, Abraham Hicks. Hicks. Uh, they Esther... call themselves Abraham. Yeah, they... Esther oh, okay. Abraham. Oh, 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 oh. They call those, themselves those are, oh, hold on, just one There's moment, yeah, areas. those are spirit people, spirit. those are spirits, yeah. they were spirit people. I have a question related, so you mentioned the spirit world and human and physical world, so as I understand, we are now in third dimension, and our spirits, when we die, go to seventh dimension, and then come back somehow, mm -hmm. into new incarnation, mm -hmm. and I was asked by somebody else, are the aliens also going from four dimension to seventh? Yes. Are they in the same space in the seventh dimension? Yes, there's, we use, all use the same dimensions. There, well, we all use the same seven dimensions, but we all have different linear dimensions that veer off from that. Do you understand that? It's, it's quite... Um, like these do works in ten dimensions, ten different time, linear time dimensions. Timelines. But, yeah, timelines. Okay. But um, we still all use the same basic dimensions. So in the seventh dimension, our human that so, uh, discarnate souls and say alien discarnate souls, are they mingling together or are they kind of separate in different clusters? Are they talking to each other? Our, our They're in souls. their own realms of communication. They can if they choose to. Mm -hmm. But many times, uh, uh, most riches choose to go to their own place mm -hmm. to decide if they're going to come back to their place. Or uh, there are times when they decide to go back to someplace else. Mm -hmm. And that has happened too. But they go first to their place. Okay. And then they can decide whether they want to go somewhere else or not. Because they are in the spirit realm, and those spirit realms can connect, mm -hmm. but they are divided, but you can still get to them. I mean, they're not divided by permanent walls or anything mm -hmm. of that nature. They're divided by intention. Are you in communication normally? Can you communicate 
at will to your discarnate spirits, like your parents or Not something? Not at will. Um, we, we, like you, can meditate and, and get in contact with the spirit world. We're a little better at it than you are, mm -hmm. but we still have to use our use our meditations because to get to the spirit world is a very special way to tr communicate and it, you can't just travel there you can't just go there you have to be in the right frame of mind you have to be in the right vibrational space and you have to know what your intentions are in that whole thing because if there's not a good intention for it you won't get there mm -hmm. Um, your intentions, and coming back to intentions, intentions are a very big part of that. A very big part of that. Because you can't get to a spiritual level unless you have <coughs> intentions and there's a purpose and it's going, to, it's going to enlighten you or bring you up or, or do something positive. You can't just go there. It's not allowed. What physical... Uh, posture do you use for meditation? Do you sit, lay down, or stand, or glide? I, there's actually several different... I can stand on my head, I can um, lay on my back with my one foot up. I, there's several different ways that blues can do that. There are special meanings to the, to the way we meditate. Um, some of it comes through ritual and tradition, which we have as well, you know. To follow tradition, to, you don't necessarily have to do it that way, but to do it by tradition is very familiar and family-like and draws love and attention to that, that particular act. And, Maybe it's now a good time. Maybe you can give us a blessing on your language and translate, if it is appropriate. <laughs> Hold on. I'll give you a very short one. I'll Thank you. Because I have to go soon. There, my people are getting anxious for me to return. Melihat hu shonta frakata potum i kararan sapa sapatan ur nanin ki karavanta paliandadu. Ah, I'm running with the stars. I'm feeling the sky. God is all around me. As I step into the void, I will not fall. For he is there to catch me. Amen. Thank you much. Thank you. Go ahead. How do we convey to a extraterrestrial that we are looking for a teacher as a group? Is there something we can do? You just did it. Okay. <laughs> Well, I have to go. Thank you very much for your visit. You were extraordinary today. Uh, I'm very, Thank you. I like it very much. Thank you. Thank you. And say hi to your people and to your blessings friends. To you and my mate says blessings as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thirsty. <laughs> well, Jim is returning to the room. Uh, if you are new and have not been here before and would like to be on a mailing list for events like this, just give us your name and phone number and uh, email address. Um, it's a very private list. I don't share it with anybody else except these two guys. 
<laughs> Thank you. It was longest Jim's dive. What? Longest dive of oh, yours. Oh, Thank you. Longest okay. dive? Dive. You dived into the spirit world for a long time. Really? Was it that long? Did yeah, very long. long. Like, about two hours. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? It was great. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. yeah, you got to see it. Oh my goodness, two hours? About. I've got to yeah, say, this couple hours. on the end, when you walked in the room, I picked up Ail and you would do too. Yeah. I, I did. Yeah, so. tell Akesh it's not appropriate to name names on the video recording. I did. <laughs> You can point oh, the finger, you. but you know, no, on the recording, yes. it's not appropriate. When you walked in, I was. I didn't name names. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. 144. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't hear him name yeah. names. <laughs> it's not you, it's like cash. It's. Oh, well. <laughs> like cash. Oh, bad boy. <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't hear him name names. Uh, but of course, it's like listening outside of a door. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? walked in and I'm getting chills. I thought, yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's like listening outside of a door. You can hear, but you can't. Yeah. Don't get it all. Wow. Unless they come and use one of your words or phrases. If they come and borrow something from your consciousness, then I can hear them. Right. But other than that, you can hear outside the door. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, um, but you can hear the words, but it's just sort of muffled like that. Mm. So. Thanks, Jim. Good, Jim. That was Thank a good name. Yeah.